Good morning and welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 113. Um, today we're going to have a shop tour. I think about having a shop tour at Memphis uh, Monday number uh, 104, but I, instead I decided to do a review of all the uh, projects, and I think that turned out better anyway. But we can't go, uh, you know, we have to have at least one uh, shop tour every every year to find out where we're at uh, on our shop uh, upgrade project. So today we're going to go through and uh, take take a look at the uh, shop, uh, what we've got done, and and then a a little uh, summary of some possible future upgrades. But let's knock off the chit chat and get the tour in. Let's just take a quick uh, walk through here. There's my unsatisfactory uh, wood storage. More unsatisfactory wood storage. There's some satisfactory wood storage. Got my chop saw here with a built-in dust collection. In the center I got a toolbox and my mandrel, drill press, and a large bandsaw. A workbench there. And a few projects ago, well it's been a couple of months ago, we, uh, we, I ginned up this low workbench for a project. It's going to be a temporary thing, but I like it so much I'm trying to figure out some way to keep it. There's my massive shop cabinets. I'll tell you what, if, if you have uh, uh, that many cabinets against your east wall, uh, your shop's going to be neat, guaranteed. And there's two of my air compressors. I got the little uh, pancake down there and I got the bigger one up here. There's my uh, table saw with my outfeed table from a table saw with the slide out uh, slide out shelves for my toolboxes. The uh, table saw has built-in uh, dust collection. My B52 drying system. I got the AC turned off now so you can hear, hear yourself think. Here's my, the uh, router and my uh, large uh, clamp stand there, small clamps there router and joiner and here's my uh, thickness planer. These three machines, the thickness planer, the joiner and the, the uh, router, uh, they all share that uh, they all share that uh, uh, dust collection system right there. And then Serving as an outfeed table and also a toolbox is this uh, large toolbox right here. And it also serves as a work table and an outfeed table for my thickness planer. And then over here is my heavy workbench. It's heavy, but that don't matter because it's got uh, six industrial strength heavy duty wheels under it, and I can roll it in any place I want to. And I got uh, samples of every screw and bolt ever made by man. This is my chair we made last year. I made a couple of these. These are big, tall deck chairs. I was going to use it as a camping, as a, uh, a grilling table. I mean, a grilling uh, chair. But I liked it so much, I kept it in here. And then, of course, our chalkboard. We've been using this for over a year. And over here is this uh, west wall. Over here against the west wall are a lot of these uh, tables. I think we built them all this year. This is, uh, this is our table for our small bandsaw. Got uh, five drawers, five large drawers. It's on uh, high dollar wheels. Uh, all the drawers. Well, they're not all empty, but real nice uh, utility. I can push anywhere I want. Right next to it is a 
is the table for my new scroll saw. I had another scroll saw, I liked it fine, uh, but the problem was it didn't, uh, it didn't tilt to the right. And, I, and to do uh, dovetails with, uh, with a scroll saw, you got to be able to tilt, tip the table to the right. So I bought a new one. I got a lot of storage here, which you can see is currently underutilized. Here's, no, here's another one of our, our builds. This thing is really nice. Um, it's, of course, got storage for all the different pieces, parts for the drum sander. So whenever I need anything, the wrenches, uh, screwdrivers, everything is uh, right here in these right here in these drawers. But the coupe de grosse is that this has a built-in dust collection system. When I turn this thing on, the dust collection and the drum sander come on. So that's sweet. Same thing with uh, this is my large uh, This, this is my large bell sander. This thing is, is power, a powerful little rock your world. And it has built-in dust collection also. This first drawer right here is just access to the motor. Got a little file drawer. Got a little file drawer down here uh, that I keep uh, backup uh, belts in. And then this is the Coupe de Grasse down here built-in dust collection when I turn this thing on um, I turn this thing on it sucks the it sucks the dust right into this little collection bin here and then the last little uh, piece of furniture we built was this little uh, stand for the a small bandsaw plenty of storage high dollar wheels so those are the ones we built this year I think I don't think we built any more this is a this is the stand I built for my uh, uh, lathe but I'm going to replace it but I, I don't know what kind of lathe I'm going to get I, I'm, this in here is a cheap one and I may get a you know I may get a uh, a better one if I can justify it you know if I can if I use it enough I got a project plan that I'm going to be using it but uh, you know I hate to buy something and not use it believe it or not this is something I use all the time this is a mandrel um, and I built this uh, little stand for it you know at a four by fours I can slide this thing around and pound on it and everything else uh, everybody needs a uh, an anvil or a mandrel. These uh, t this table here, the the tables I still need to replace. That one there, I, we rebuilt that uh, I think last year. Uh, you know, to just try to get it in uh, more in line with the other furniture, but I st I, th I think it's uh, too ugly. It looks uh, too much uh, Hotel Six for me. Um, this thing is, this little table here is, is super strong. It's a nice little table, but uh, again, it doesn't go along with, uh, it doesn't go along with the other furniture. And the same with the, same with this uh, stand here, the thickness planer is on. You know, they, neither one of them, neither one of them have drawers or, or doors or any storage at all. So I got things just, you know, just stuck in there, hanging out like those those plastic buckets and tools and screws and all kinds of stuff up there. So let's go back uh, get over to the east wall. And one of the things you kind of notice is, uh, I mean, even when we're doing work, there's there aren't you don't see any tools out, and you know, uh, you know, it's it's. Uh, 
for me, it's calming, you know, to not have a whole lot of a mess, but you've got to have your tools, so where you put them. So you say, uh, well, that's all well and good. You got all these, uh, you got all these nice workbenches and toolboxes and tools and all that stuff. But then when you want to start a project, where, where are all your tools? Man, I like to just uh, reach over and grab my tools when I'm starting a project. I don't want to break things out and make a big production out of it. Well, check this out. I don't know if this is uh, innovation or a happy accident. There's all my all my hand tools, uh, my nail guns. I even got my uh, framer we used last week uh, over here. Then over on the other side, I got all my finishing stuff, sandpaper, uh, buckets, paint brushes, uh, all my glue and polyurethane, and all that stuff is over there. So it's like having. It's like having your tools stored out in the open, and they're right here where you're working, and, you know, it uh, works out real good. Yeah, but uh, Memphis, uh, what if you're, you're, you've got all your, got all your tools, uh, hand tools right there, well, what if you need, uh, what if you need a sander or a planer or some, some other uh, tool from that uh, east wall or west wall? Uh, then what do you do? Let me show you. Since all my since all my tools are on uh, on wheels, and I brought this uh, scroll saw over because this is the uh, I actually had it over here when we were working on the uh, scroll saw dove, dovetail job last year, if you recall. So I can bring the tool that I need uh, right over here into my workspace, and I can move these tables around however I want them. Uh, to most as most convenient if you remember the uh, um, sewing table job I actually had that low workbench over there I had it here where this workbench is right in the center so I can configure things around as needed okay now let's talk about uh, some of the uh, possible projects upgrade projects from, for next year or this year I'm thinking about upgrading that table right there. The um, style of it, uh, I, I got the color I think about right, but style of it uh, isn't, isn't right. Uh, this table here and the table under, the, under my thickness planer are real good tables uh, to the extent they're strong and so forth. But Uh, they're the wrong style, and they don't have any storage, so I need to uh, fix that. Okay, the second, uh, so those are the cabinet upgrades I need. I also need to come up with some better storage for my wood. Uh, any ideas, uh, let me know, but uh, uh, this just drives me crazy. I need, a, I need an outbuilding uh, that I can store this wood in because... It just takes up a lot of space and I'm tired of looking at it. And another facility upgrade I got to take care of is this dark corner here. I got that old, uh, that old dresser right there. It's, it's crumbling to pieces. Got my file cabinet on I got all that cordwood up there. You know, it's summertime and I uh, got all those jackets piled up there. So I need to fix this. I need to get rid of that table and figure out something for this corner besides this. Well, that'll do it for another uh, Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 113, a little shop tour. Um, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I feel like I'm just uh, droning on and showing you things you already know, but if, uh, you know, I guess I think it might be all helpful, you know, to kind of uh, get a uh, feel for the lay of the land when you're watching uh, videos, uh, uh, you know, where we're at in the shop and all that business. But anyway... Uh, if you enjoyed the uh, video, uh, uh, click like, and if you have any questions, uh, 
put them in the comments section. And uh, if, uh, you know, if you have a question and, you know, I might make a video uh, answering your question, if it's that kind of a question. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like and tweet and comment and uh, Facebook and share and all that business you do on the Internet. But most important, make sure you do what? Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.